Hello and welcome once again to the Lucy Mackenzie Humane Society in Brownsville, Vermont. Um, thank you, first of all, thank you viewers for all the support you give us and I know many of you um, help us with money or things we need, cleaning stuff or blankets or um, walking animals, anything and everything we are always delighted to receive and we do thank our public so much for all your support. So now we're going to introduce you to some lovely cats and then some lovely, lovely dogs. And I can't promise that you'll get a first class view of the cats because they are a little shy, some of them, but we will do our best, at least Paula behind the camera will do, our, do her best. Sorry, I forgot to introduce Paula. And it's Dan Ros, as you probably know. So let's go. So today we're going to start with Loki, who has just recently come in. She is a beautiful, beautiful, creamy colored Siamese. You can see she's just looking out at us. Who are you? I don't know who you are. She came in with another Siamese and they're both a little shy. So they're gonna take a little bit of time to get used to you and your house. And um, I don't know whether they're good with dogs, but I have a feeling that they would like a quietish home. Um, but very beautiful, very sweet, very intelligent, both of them, because we'll, I'll show you Sebastian as well, but they uh, wanted to make it, me to make it plain on the show that they are highly intelligent cats. So, I mean, cats usually think they're about themselves, don't they? But we, we've taken note, Loki, all right? And uh, Loki here is one year old, so she's barely a kitten now, probably a teenager. Oh. You want a lovely a teenage cat, <laughs> but she is very quiet and shy. So when you take her home, which I know you're going to, she may well just decide that she wants to be quiet for a bit and find a little corner to settle into. And also, perhaps Paula could show this beautiful, beautiful new um, cat uh, cat house. Uh, isn't it lovely? It's got another home here and another home here. It's a sort of cat condominium, and. Um, we always welcome donations like that. If you would like, could ever like to give us anything like that, we would be more than happy to have a donation. Thank you. Okay, so let's go now and find uh, Mr. Sebastian, who is also a Siamese, and I'm not sure that we can get a view of so him. So quickly, here is Sebastian. He is a beautiful reddish brown um, uh, Siamese. Um, and he just said, meow, hello to us, uh, which was very nice of him. So just think how lovely that would be every morning when you wake up, to have Sebastian say, meow, wake up, it's time for my breakfast. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, and he is about 10 months old. Uh, so it's great when you get them that age because, um, you know, you can sort of mold them to your... Uh, household and how the household works as much as you can mold any cat to do what you would like it to do but uh, Sebastian and Loki both said they're they're willing to work with you so please come and see them and see if you just couldn't find room in your house for them thank you All right. so this is Indy he's about nine or ten years old isn't he handsome oh my goodness you're such a handsome cat sweetheart He's very sociable. He likes to play. Um, as Paula pointed out, like many cats, he, he doesn't really like to be held. I think cats are they're very much unto themselves. I am a cat. I'm not someone just to be manhandled if you feel like it. But if I feel like it, I will come and sit on your knee or beside you in the sofa uh, or maybe even a hammock at this time of year. Hello, sweetheart. Um, but he, uh, he's really, he is very social. He loves people, he likes being around people, and um, he's got a sense of humor. Just, I, you know, I just know that from him, don't I, sweetheart, okay? And beautiful, beautiful white whiskers, yes. And he said, I would just be such a treasure to have around. And everybody would say to you, oh, you're so lucky to have such a handsome cat. Isn't that right, sweetheart? Yes, a lot of self-confidence. So, so look at this. This is Bosco, 
Uh, she's six years old, yes. I think. Oh, I'm sorry, this is Alexa. <laughs> I didn't want to get them muddled up. Of course not. But anyway, look at this. Oh. So she was, she was surrendered uh, because the other dog in the household was uh, going after her. Is that yes, right, Alexa? Yes. yes. So along but she's, oh, look how loving she is. I mean, oh, I've, so, oh, I've just fallen in love. Oh, my gosh. So um, she uh, loves walkies, I'm yes, sure. Yes, and, and um, Yes, <laughs> and she does. She probably needs a bit of exercise. She, she would be a good hiking dog. Be careful in this hot weather, though. I mean, that can be very hard for dogs, and particularly bigger dogs who are just very slightly overweight. Um, but uh, she loves going in cars, you know, with the uh, windows down, of course. Um, and as I say, often uh, loves, dogs love being in the front seat of a truck, too. Um, but she seems very laid back, very sweet. Um, well, seems. She <laughs> is. She is. She's an absolute sweetheart. So how she, and she'd be good with children, I think. She's pending intro with, with older children. Pending, with older children, yeah. She's, she's a little bit touch sensitive. Is she? Yes. Okay, also she's big. You know, she's big to have young children around. So, but she would love to join in a get, well, uh, perhaps we won't do that on camera, dear. <laughs> uh, she's a bit big um, to be, you know, bouncing around with young children and then they get knocked over and one thing and another. But she does love her walkies and she's she does. She's good with cats, <laughs> yes. yay! And I think she's just a sweetheart. I really have fallen for this dog. Um, and I just, she did just, I know, I heard you say that. She did just say to me, would you quickly tell people on camera, on the camera, who um, have animals outside, please, please make sure they have shelter, both from the rain and the heat and the sun, uh, that they have water, plenty of water all the time and that they have food not an overgrazed field or something that's really weedy and there's nothing there for them it is the law of the land the law of this state anyway on new hampshire too probably i don't know about that but anyway please make sure and if you pass by and you see an animal that doesn't have all three of those things please report it to the police it's very important we don't want animals suffering so um, now, excuse me, Bosco. Um, Bosco. Right, okay. So, would you just say hi, folks, and um, oopsie, please come and see me and take me home? Desperately need a home. They do say that two is often better than one, and uh, the one on the left, I haven't found out her or his name yet, but that's the postbox cat, and we always try to do that one every every month. And every month, uh, it's always in the in its postbox home. So now it's found a friend, the little the black one at the back, who was having a very nice sleep. And then the postbox cat came along and said, "Oh, I think you look very comfortable. Can we cuddle up together? Isn't that lovely?" So maybe somebody watching, somebody would like to give them both a home. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Because they do seem to be. Very, they do seem to be very close, don't they? Oh, I love that. So oh, dear. That is just beautiful. You just have a good time together, folks. And, and somebody will come and take you both home. All right? Well, here we have a lot of the uh, black cats. If you remember, if you watched just before, the black cat condo, condominium. Anyway, they've all been moved in here and sort of mixed up with some other cats, but there are an awful lot of black cats, black and white cats. Then we've got some tabby cats, and we've got, yes. So you've got your choice here. And of course, because it's a very hot day, uh, their door is open, and they're all having their afternoon siesta. So I'm afraid <laughs> we haven't got a lot of action here. We've just got a lot of sleeping cats. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I can see, all having, and another one down there, oh yes, Paul has just pointed out another one to me, so there's eight cats in here, all having a little snooze, oh, making me feel quite sleepy, actually, um, along with the sunshine outside. So you can come in here and, you know, maybe if you come in the mornings, it, what does it matter? Anyway, if there's somebody that really takes your attention, please, please look at them and just think, you know, and if you're thinking of getting a kitten, you might just come here and visit and fall in love with someone who's a little bit older or someone who's really quite old because the oldies were the ones that really need the most help. But um, I would ask you if 
instead of getting a kitten, you do get somebody who's here at the Lucy McKenzie because they're the ones that really need to have a home. Some of them have already had a home and been given up for various reasons. Um, and some of them uh, have been in here since uh, kittenhood. But they all need to go with you. So take two or three while you're at it. Why don't you? Oh, well, this is Delilah. As you can see, she's the most beautiful rabbit. And, oh, she's so soft. You know, her fur is, oh, it's just really plush because it's short and thick and, oh. And she's got, well, one ear up and one ear down. And um, so she's very sweet, very intelligent, um, and would love to have a home. I think she is, uh, I'm not sure how old she is, but I have to find out. Um, but, no, I don't think she's that old. And uh, she did find a home, and then she came back because the person couldn't, something happened in their lives and they couldn't quite manage but rabbits are wonderful to have around um, my granddaughters had a rabbit and in the winter it would come into the kitchen and it was litter box trained and it would just you know hop around with the dogs and they had two pet rats as well and they would all be around buzzing around together and um, so she doesn't like to be held um, probably because at some point in time maybe somebody held her and dropped her or something like that. I have no idea. But anyway, she doesn't actually like to be held. But I'm sure she, um, you could train her to do things, not train her, but ask her if she could learn how to do this, that and the other. And she is litter box trained, which is very useful. Um, so she has, um, she's got a little cage to go in when she wants to be quiet and go to sleep. And she has one box which has hay in it because you know, rabbits like to eat hay. Um, I, think she's, I think she's lovely. And she's very, very beautiful. And you know, she said, well, just, you know, Roz, just tell them that I have beauty. I'm going to see if I can pull you along a little. Whoops, whoops, there we are. She says, I have beauty and brains. And it's not everybody that has beauty and brains. And Delilah has both. And she said, I have a song. Uh, made specially for me by Tom Jones. Well, actually, Delilah, I think Tom Jones was quite a long time ago, but never mind. I'm sure in the future he would have had a song for you, dear, because you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Okay, darling. Yes. Now, I'm sorry, I don't have any snackies for you at all. But look at all your toys. Oh, that's another thing. She loves toys. And uh, right now, she said, I'm just sort of showing myself off to everybody. So, why not have an animal that's a little different? Not a dog, not a cat, but she's a rabbit. And she will bring you much joy too. Okay. Rabbit. Hmm? So here we are with Petra. And Petra, like Bosco, is uh, six years old. Uh, she would like a home. Um, does, she, does she have any training, by the way? She, does she sit? Can you she sit? She does sit, yes. But, yeah, she was about to sit, but she's excited Petra, now. Sit. She said, good girl. They're good girl, good girl. Petra is an Aussie mix, um, maybe some, and some Spaniel probably in there. Um, she needs a lot of exercise. She's a very high energy dog. So uh, if you have a lovely uh, pen that she can run around in and you can play games with her. But most of all, she said, I like walks, long walks, hikes up a mountain. Um, only just be careful in this very hot weather about taking your dog too far but mountains often tend to be foresty, foresty and things like that but so she said oh, there's nothing I like better than getting out in the woods and the fields and and um, I don't know but and I think she would love to do um, uh, ability classes you know and run through tunnels yes, and up and down yes. things like that Mental stimulation. I bet well and I bet she's very bright too because she's she a does cattle lovely. dog Oh, she does. Yep, she so she, do yeah, she would love to do that. And if you can't manage to take her somewhere to do it, then get your own organized, you know, put up hurdles and tunnels for her. She would love that. And she's very, very pretty. She said, oh, I'm glad you mentioned. She did just say to me, I'm glad you mentioned that because I was going to ask you to say that I'm very pretty. <laughs> um, uh, she does not want, as I say, dog companions or cat companions. She would like to be an only dog. And she said, I don't mind being alone for a little while during the day or something, but, but I do like company and I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting for my real good, loving, true people to come along and take me to their homes because they would love to have me. 
and I still have a lot of, lot of vim and vigor and, and just think about looking at me every day and how beautiful I am. And she said, so what, I'm a mix. We're all mixes, aren't we? That's true. Yes, <laughs> sure. I just had my genetics done and boy, yes, am I a mix, so they're the best. Isn't that the right, sweetheart? Yes. And a lovely pink nose. <laughs> Please come and see her. This, this is Petra. So this is Xenia, and um, Xenia came in a little while ago. She's not very old. Um, she's uh, very active, very active. She came in with another cat called Babette, Babette, who has been adopted, and um, so she's on her own now. Uh, but I think she would get on with another cat. You, they have to be introduced, of course, and things like that. But um, she loves to play, as you can see. And, oh, whoops, well, you've got all sorts of lovely things here, haven't you, dear? Yeah, she's um, very active. Um, she doesn't, like a lot of cats, she doesn't really like to be picked up, but would certainly like to be cuddled uh, when she wanted to. Cats like to make up their own mind. Hey, can you come and face the camera, dear? We want to see your face. Woo! -hoo. There you are. There you are. There. Woof. Woof. Come on over here. Huh? Come on, Xenia, Xenia. She's just, yeah, she's quite lively. Um, she probably would be better off with adults um, or maybe older teenagers. Um, I don't think that she is um, probably a cat that would be good with young children. Um, so I would recommend that you sort of either adults only or, or older, older children in their teens. Um, but she really would like to have a home because um, she said, I, I, loaned, I miss my sister who I came in with and um, I'm on my own and so please come and see me and play with me and you know, and I will tell you how much, whoops, hey, come on out, come on out, come on, there you are. So come and see Xenia, you will enjoy playing with her, I can tell you. Now, how's this for winning a beauty competition? Oh, my goodness. This is Meg. And she came in with her sister, Maya. They're both five years old. Um, they were given up because, very sadly, their person, his girlfriend, turned out to be allergic to cats. So um, the girlfriend won out, but never mind. Um, I can quite understand that. So Meg and Maya are looking for a home. They are, per and uh, Maya is a little shy. She's sort of cuddled up in her, in her little um, house down below. In the, but they're a bit frightened because they haven't been here for very long. They don't know what's going on. And um, they are the same litter. They're sisters. They would definitely like to go together. I think it would be very heartbreaking for both of them to be separated. And, oh, <laughs> Meg. Meg, could you look around at us, sweetheart? Meg, okay. Gosh, those eyes are just amazing. They she don't... wants to be pet. Okay, sweetheart. There we are. Yes. She said, I'm really very sweet, but I'm just very overwhelmed right now. We're in a different place, and we've just come in, and my sister's in a different cage, and, and I'm just not sure about anything anymore. My world has just been turned upside down. But I, she knows that there's somebody who's watching right now and who's going to come in and see her sister Maya too and is going to give them the most wonderful home. Please do, because they will just, I mean, just to look at these two every, every day when you wake up is going to give you pleasure. And um, they would, of course, I think, be indoor cats. I don't think with a fur like that you would want to, but, I, you know, as we, we prefer indoor cats anyway. Um, isn't that lovely, darling? Yes, that's yes. That's my old hand. And what have you got here? Guess what? We've got some catnip. Oh, and there's a little pillow for you. All right, darling. Yes, very sweet, very sweet. And they'll just need careful handling and a lot of patience. 
and you will have two people in your life or two animals in your life, okay, sweetie, but you will never regret having uh, rescued and given them a new life. Thank you. Okay, all right, so here, okay. So here we go. Now, uh, Jasper, there is, there's a camera there, all right? Would you mind looking at the camera, sweetheart? Yes, I know. Well, he says, I'm busy saying hello to you. Oh, do I taste good? Oh, isn't that nice? Good, excellent. Okay, well, I probably smell of dog, too, and that's always a help. <laughs> so Jasper is one and a half years old and terribly handsome, terribly handsome. People are always telling him that. So let me see, um, what's he got in him? He's, so he's an Akita mix. Akita mix. Yes. Right, yeah, because the Akitas aren't usually that big, are they? No. No, no. but the tail, I think. Yeah. Yes. My shepherd, perhaps. Who knows? Anyway, and he's got a lovely little fluffy bit just here on his forehead. A lovely <laughs> little fluffy, haven't you, darling? So, like the other dogs we've seen today, he's very keen on walkies. And uh, let me see. Can you sit? Can sit. you sit, sweetheart? Sit. Can you sit? Oh, very nice. Now, this is a dog who would love to go to obedience classes, maybe not beginners, because he, he's probably got more than that in him, and again, would love to do agility, uh, and would love to walk, and he said, I know Roz is always saying this about dogs, but he said, I really fancy a truck, but if you don't have the front seat of a truck for me, that's okay, I'll take whatever you've got, as long as the window's open and my ears can blow in the breeze, and but be careful of that, too, when your dog sticks his head out of the window. Not always such a good idea if you've got somebody going by rather close. Um, but I really like this dog. I think uh, he's got, he's got, he has, some animals, I just know they have a sense of humor. You can laugh with this dog. And, um, and he said, I'm all go. I want to go. I want to <laughs> go. So where are we with cats? So no cats, but he is pending intro with a respectable other dog. Oh, good. Well, that's good. Yes. yes, yes, so he'll like that. Um, and oh, yeah, this is a dog that, yeah, and he would love to have a, a fenced in yard um, that, you know, he can really run and play, particularly if he's got a companion that he likes. Um, uh, excuse me, <laughs> you know, what you do is, is, is put your paw to your, excuse us, okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Um, yes. Uh, that, you know, when you, when you belch like that, dear, it's very polite to put your paw to your mouth. <laughs> All right? Yes. Well, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Oh, look how handsome we are. I just really love that. And the profile is stunning. So please, come and see him. And, and he's calmed down now, and he's standing very nicely for Alexa. So <laughs> please come and see him. Come and see all of them. Come empty-handed so that you'll go back with a full heart to give to whichever wonderful creature you have so kindly taken from us. Please do. Please do. So there we are, folks. We've got a wonderful selection to choose from. Please do. Please do. We just need these animals that come to us. Um, they all need homes, wonderful homes. And please just don't, just don't drop them off at a gas station. If you can't keep your animal anymore, please, please bring them to us so we know something about them and that they're not frightened in a strange place. I do beg you that. So thank you for watching and from Paula behind the camera and Ros in front of the camera and all the wonderful people at the Lucy Mackenzie Humane Society, we say goodbye, have a wonderful month and we will see you in August with your new, ha new animal. Animals are such agreeable friends. They ask no questions, they pass no criticisms. Mm -hmm.